Welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today I want to go over for the probably the fourth or fifth time I've done this video. I want to talk about the 1978 Young Michael Myers mask that where he is seen standing on in front of his house with the costume and the mask on and he's got a bloody knife because he just stabbed the shit out of his sister. <laughs> stabbed her in the boobs too. That's not cool. <laughs> but anyway Long story short, I want to talk about the Trick or Treat Studios version of that mask. Here's what she looks like, okay? Yeah, let me just kind of pull back so you can see what it looks like. Okay, now, the unique thing about this mask, it is, um, the concept artist for this is Connor uh, Delis. He's the one that done the concept for this, all right? Normally, when you get into the vintage uh, Clownville type masks, like this one here, they're usually white around the edges, and it's like a solid mask that you put around your face. In this case, they got or they eliminated the actual white part of it and just molded the actual mask in itself, which I thought was a cool concept. Now, when you wear this, it is comfortable. If you've got a big head, not so much, okay? Like if you've got a fat face or something like that, in some aspects, it would be uncomfortable uh, wearing it. Now, I notice when I wear this, that in the cheeks, it doesn't cut into it, but <clears throat> it does press them out if you got fat cheeks and stuff. I don't, I'm not fat or anything like that, but I am a little overweight. But face wise, the only uncomfortable part about this is at the top here. It does cut a little bit into the forehead, so you gotta pull on the nose just to relieve the uh, pain. But outside of that, if you have a smaller face, I'm sure it's gonna be pretty uh, comfortable to wear, and it's easy to talk in and, in and out of because of the mouth and stuff like that and easy to breathe out of because of the nose oh yeah i gotta get my phone okay but anyway anyway the colors on this are very unique it's got skin tones okay this is either a powder blue or a robin's egg blue dark blue red obviously and the white it's very traditional to a, a old vintage clown uh type uh colors and stuff and she does look like a vintage clown mask i'm not sure if it's a clown veil mask but uh, it's very similar to the one that they actually uh, used in the 2007 Halloween movie with Michael Myers. That one was uh, Tyler Maine, I believe he was Michael Myers. He was almost seven foot, he's six foot five. Absolutely massive. People hated that movie. For, I don't understand. Uh, I think it's because when you see Michael Myers in the other movies, uh, he's... He's a killer, don't get me wrong, but he's not super vicious like he is in this one. He's really brutal in Rob Zombie's version, and that's what I liked about him. Plus, I think the fact that people didn't like him being all that big, he was absolutely massive. I think he looked very intimidating at that size, okay? To me, I enjoyed those movies. Second one, not so much, but the first one, in my opinion, I did like it. I am a fan of the Rob Zombie movies. I know you other fans don't uh, care for the movie. But it is what it is. But I did enjoy the uh, the movie in itself. Uh, anyway, the young Michael Myers in that movie wore a mask. And that's another Clownville um, mask. What they did is they kind of repainted it and he used it. And I've been trying to get a hold of one of them. They're not readily available. At least not at a decent price. I want to get a hold of one of those. Plus, I want to get a hold of one of the, uh, the original um, floorboard um, type masks that he pulled out of the floorboard. I want to get one of those masks too because I like the movie in itself. He looked really cool. All right. Uh, the other masks in the other movies, they were hit and miss. Some of them are really funny looking. And I was like, eh, no, no, no. I like the original 1978 and the, uh, the next movie, which I think came out in 1980 or is it 1982 or 81. That's one of them. It came out a few years later, Halloween 2. That mask is cool. And I also want to get the Ben Tramer mask. I definitely had that in my Amazon list. I want to definitely get that one too. But anyway, this is the actual 1978 Young Michael Myers mask, but they eliminated the white, so it's not a full vintage type mask, but it is molded, you know, from that mask, okay? And Connor Delis is the one that actually did the concept art for it. And look at this. He's got a big schnazzola, okay? Anyway, upon wearing this, you can speak in this thing rather easily, but like I said, for everyone's face, it is a little bit different. Uh, this one here actually cuts into my forehead, so I gotta kind of pull on the nose a little bit. It is made of a hard plastic. 
okay so it is kind of durable but right here as you can see right here it is separated okay and the only thing that's holding it is the nose piece so if you snap it off at the nose you might as well just throw the mask away okay but anyway this is the Michael Myers mask I hope you guys enjoy this this is from Trick or Treat Studios okay if you ever want to get one of these it is roughly around I think what they say 15 16 dollars plus tax uh, it pushes it over 20 it's worth it because it's made of a durable plastic as yes, you can hear okay it is worth it especially if you're a Michael Myers fan it'll be great for your collection get it before it runs out but anyway long story short this is pretty much it on this mask okay alright alright this is pumpkin horror don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm gonna be pushing out some more videos as I do eventually will be ordering some more stuff um, and my pre-orders come in we'll definitely stay on top of that okay you guys have yourselves a good day. All right. Bye.